by the standards of basic, uh, this was a pretty pretty large game. So large it wouldn't all fit in one file, which I later learned. So I actually had to split it up into six different basic files. Um, came out to a total of 79,000 bytes of code and over 1,800 total lines of code. Here we can just see a listing, which you'll see some extended ASCII characters, which comprised all the menus that you saw in the game. By comparison, the original source code from the book was 926 lines. I doubled that. Here we manipulate the code to make it look like we won the game. And we see a view of the Enterprise Engineering Room and the credits. And including my name for the modification of the game. You would only say that if you're the winner, and if we had all the proper scoring, we'd actually be able to enter our name at this point. On the left hand side, you'll see the Enterprise D Warp Core. If you are a Star Trek fan, you'll know what that is. Creates all the energy for the ship through matter antimatter processes. And you have the option to then replay the game, and here we have the game starting all over again. And there is myself again. Well, it's actually Picard, but with my name <laughs> added on there. Well, I certainly hope you've enjoyed this narration. Again, my name is Jack L. Hamilton. This game was created back in uh, 1995 when I was in high school. Um, and I just leave you now with just a bunch of screenshots of the game. Thank you very much, and have a nice day.